Well, as you probably know, we have some wintry weather on the way across western and central Wyoming. We've got our watch warnings uh, advisories map. You can see the whole area in pink there is a winter storm warning. Those will probably be on the low end of our warnings, though. Advisors in effect for the Jackson Valley as well as the Star Valley. You still see those winter storm watches in effect basically from the east of Rock Springs up through the Rattlesnake Range to just south of Casper. And I wouldn't be surprised if, say, tonight or tomorrow, we see a few more advisors issued for much of the area, especially east of the divides. We head toward late Sunday night to the Monday time frame. Now, as far as how much snowfall we're expecting, again, highest amounts, again, no surprise across the northwestern mountains. A uh, few areas over a foot of snow, but most areas I'm thinking about 6 to 12 inches. Lower elevations, say like Jackson, about 3 to 6 inches. East of the divide, again, he heaviest areas looking like at this time around the Casper area. And I'm a little concerned about the Bighorn Basin, though. These amounts could be a little bit underdone, so may see these bump up as we head toward uh, the uh, morning hours, depending on what the latest model runs do. And looking at peak wind gusts, this is on Sunday again. Could be some snow coming into Sweetwater County late today, so there could be some blowing snow there again. Not the strongest winds we've ever seen. Not anticipating any high wind warnings or anything like that. But it could be a problem for those of you driving high profile vehicles with the crosswinds in I-80. And there could be some even stronger winds coming in as we head towards, say, the Sunday night time frame, especially in the northern portions of the area. We'll talk about that in just a minute. And the big change is going to be the high temperature change. I'm not going to fall down like I did yesterday, but you see between uh, Sunday's highs and Monday's highs, 20 degrees cooler, even 30 degrees colder in some places. So it's going to feel uh, really, really cold compared to how it has been. We've been spoiled the past few days. As far as the impact index, again, the passes across the west are going to be slick and snow covered. Our road should be okay across most of the areas east of the divide as we head through Sunday, but Sunday night, especially late Sunday night and Monday morning, I think the trouble spots. And the worst area, I think, in the morning will probably be up around I-90, I-25, around Buffalo. There could be some near blizzard conditions there. Again, as far as snowfall amounts, 6 to 12 inches in the western mountains, locally higher amounts, about 3 to 6 in the, in the uh, valleys. Generally, on average, about 1 to 3 across uh, most of the lower elevations east of the divide. Some areas could get locally more. Still fine-tuning the forecast as we speak. And much colder temperatures coming in again. Nothing unusual for December. Just unusual seeing how it's been warm lately, so it's going to feel a lot colder than it actually is. See some resources there for uh, forecasts as well as for road conditions. And of course, webcams by route. Go to local programs, click on webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Have a good night.